yesterday ladies and gentlemen it gives me pleasure to welcome you on this auspicious occasion of the inauguration of the hindi arts college from the very beginning the sages and the wise men of india were themselves always engaged in the preservation of indian culture and the unity of the country it is due to their efforts that in spite of the fact that india was divided into several political spheres social customs and languages the cultural unity of the country was never disturbed our religious leaders literary spokesmen and eminent poets always diligently put stress on preserving this unity in olden times sanskrit achieved a significant position being the language spoken and understood by our religious guides and men of letters throughout india and in a way helped in saving the religious and cultural unity of the country it is a good sign that our country is even now striving constantly to keep up that unity during the last 150 years for the sake of running the administration the english language was in use as a common vehicle for exchange of ideas between persons speaking the different languages of our country english is however understood only by a limited number of persons who may be called well educated therefore in a vast country like india there are several languages entirely different from each other are prevalent it is very necessary that there should be one common language for the interchange of views and for keeping up healthy intercourse amongst the people there could be no difference of opinion in this matter it is with this object that the framers of our constitution have the significant status of national language to hindi this is in no manner diminishes the importance of the state languages the states are free to run their administration in the state languages and take all steps for their development besides all the state languages have originated from sanskrit and thus they are closely related to hindi as well therefore the improvement of one language is always supplementary to the development of the other in a country in which more languages than one are spoken it is but natural and usual to have 
one common language for conducting the business of the state.